Welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna take a look at a new car scanner we picked up. This is the MuCar 892 Bluetooth. This thing is supposed to be packed full of features. It's supposed to be able to do a lot. So we'll take a look here. That's the specs on it. Take a look at the back here. And one good thing that we've seen is it's got ECU coding. Not sure exactly what you can code with it and maintenance features. We have a vehicle in the shop that we're gonna need to reset the battery memory with and get a reading of the transmission fluid because we have to change the transmission fluid in the car and it requires a certain temperature. So we're gonna get this thing laid out, take a look at it and see what's included with the package. It comes in this pretty nice neoprene case. It's not too hard, not too soft, but it looks like it can take some abuse around the shop. It's got a carrying handle. We'll open it up and see how it looks. All right, inside we have the instruction manual up top and looks like a RJ45 ethernet cable here. So that's pretty good. We have the contents here, which is gonna be your computer. Yep, RJ45. You got an F chassis cable, USB-C. You got a network cable, VCI, which is your Bluetooth connector. And you have multiple different plug options for different countries, US, UK, and European. And your quick start guide, which is here. It's got a foam protective cover. This is the actual computer itself. And on the back here is your Bluetooth connector. And this is magnetic. Inside the pouch here, we're gonna have, looks like, let's open this up and see. That's your RJ45 connection to the actual unit by USB. You got your USB-C to USB-A. You also have, again, multiple different type port connections here. You, um, this is OBD female and male, and that's your RJ45. This is probably for European cars, maybe BMWs and Mercedes. Your silica beads. This is the power port and it can be switched out to different plug heads, European and overseas and all that. So it obviously has a range of 120 to 240. And you can see with this right here, it probably say it. Yep, 100 to 240. So a wide range of voltages, you could use it really anywhere. We're gonna power it up and see how it looks. On the top, you have your power button, USB-C, and USB-A along with a kickstand. All right, we have it started up. Good thing about this scanner is you don't need to log into anything. You just power it up and it just goes. So you have automatic VIN search here or you can auto enter it. Diagnosis, OBD to read your fault codes, history, reports, and feedback. So it's, you got little side menu here that you can bring it up with as well, online services. It's all touch screen. If I can click the button properly, there we go. So maintenance, let's see how this looks. All right, you have all these features here. Air fuel ratio reset, ABS bleeding. I mean, it has a ton, key matching, battery matching, DPF, seat calibration, TPMS, turbocharger matching, window calibration, transportation mode, auto start and stop sequence, which may be another thing we might look at in that car. So we're gonna have to reset the battery, check the transmission, and we wanna turn off the auto start stop feature. So hopefully this will help us get there. ECU reset, but this literally has everything that you would want inside a scanner here, upgrade, uh, if you're connected to the internet, you can probably get the software upgrades. We're not gonna do that. This is straight out of the box. It was fully charged and that time is not correct. So we'll have to fix the time on that. 
So settings, we can go in here. It's got the serial number and all that stuff up there. User, brightness, maintenance, all that stuff. Online services, user manual. Oh, that's nice. So you got an e-manual in here in case you lose it. This is the OBD fault library. So you can look up your fault codes on here. Coverage list. Oh, we have to be connected to the internet. TPMS. Gadget. Uh, so this is a Android enabled device, it seems like. You can have different widgets and stuff on here. You can set different things up. So overall, you know, it looks like it's a good scanner. We're gonna get down to the shop, hook this thing up to the car, and see if we can't read the transmission fluid, reset the battery, and do everything we need to do. All right, we're out here at a Chevy Malibu. We're gonna turn this on and show you how quick it starts up. Should fire up pretty quickly here. And this is the first time that we're actually gonna be starting it up and using it, so might just be loading everything. All right, there we go. We're gonna plug the OBD port in down here. Let's see which way this thing goes. All right, we got the OBD port plugged in. We're gonna cycle the key to on. Key is on. And we are gonna do a VIN auto search here. It's doing the VIN scan now. Pretty cool little setup here. There it is, 2014 Chevy Malibu. All right, everything's loaded up. So we're gonna scroll through and see how we can uh, Go ahead and get this battery reset. All right, we're gonna go into special functions, battery reset. So let's see if we can do an automatic search here. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, passenger present system. I don't think this vehicle has one, so uh, we're going to say not equipped. We're going to say halogen headlights. Start stop system. Battery sensor relearn. So we're going to hit OK. And not sure how to do it, but we'll come right back after we figure it out. The learn button's right down there, so let's push that learn button says command state learn. Not exactly sure what that means. All right, so I guess that's it. It's done. Got to start it back up here. And the battery and the body control module is picking up. So it looks like everything is good. We're gonna load up some data here and see if we can get the transmission temperature loaded. All right, we're gonna show you how to check the transmission temperature here. So we're gonna click on this. It's gonna open it up. We're gonna go down to uh, read data stream, transmission data, and we'll scroll down until we find temperature, which is right here. We're gonna hit okay. And it shows 77 degrees. Let's start the vehicle and see if we can't get that to move a little bit. Oh wow, it picks up quick. So we'll just shift it through some gears here and uh, see if the temperature moves up at all. And if it does, then we know we can do the transmission fluid in this vehicle. Yep, there it is. We seen it move.
80.6 back in the park and we'll let it run for a few minutes and raise that temperature up all right the temperature is definitely changing so we can see that it works we'll be able to change the transmission fluid in this car now and get this thing serviced okay overall this is an extremely extremely good scanner we're gonna see if we can do some bi-directional control with it now okay we are in the passenger window motor control module and we're gonna show you we're gonna push down that window rolls down we're gonna push up and it rolls back up so it does have bi-directional capability I'm gonna show you when you back out of it it will even tell you not to forget things do not forget to remove the VIC from the vehicle which is the interface here so you don't forget it okay overall the mu car scanner is absolutely wonderful it's right to the point it's quick you have everything you need to do in it by directional controlling and as time goes on we'll show you more features with this different vehicles but for right now this thing is definitely a win hope this helps thanks for watching please subscribe